Hola. Hi. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? Are you recording? <laughs> she joined me. Hablamos con ellos en español, ¿sí? Está bien. Bueno, es mi amiga Victoria. Ella está estudiando conmigo en la, en la universidad. Ella estudia español y ahora ella se va graduando. Los estudios También los estudios internacionales. Qué bien, ok. Pero ahora ella se va graduando de la universidad, así que la voy despidiendo. Y um, yo estoy con ella para la última clase de inglés con los estudiantes. Ella, después de la universidad, ella va a ir para Costa Rica para estudiar inglés allá también, ¿sí? Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo te sientes? Um, very happy. Muy feliz. Very excited. Like, this is such a great opportunity. It is. Um, he's going to be my translator. For all of you <laughs> that don't know. So she's going to Costa Rica for... Um, when she graduates, she's she got two years. two years to teach English abroad. That she just got accepted into the Fulbright program where she'll Peace be going. Corps. Peace. <laughs> I didn't think that I was gonna get in, and I did. So yes, I was really did. excited. What do you hope to get out of that experience? Um, I hope to become fluent in Spanish. Yes. Which she already is. I'm not. FYI. I'm not fluent. Not yet. But I'm working on it. Um, aside from that, I really do hope to like make an impact on the community. That I'm gonna yeah. be working with because, like, a lot of people we do this thing called, like, well, of course, we're we go to other countries thinking that yeah. we're gonna volunteer, but we're really like a tourist, and like, true, I don't feel like that's like the most effective way to go about mission trips and like trying to help people. It's like, yeah, you know, you're going there for yourself, really, and like what you can get. When did you realize that you had such a strong passion for different cultures and different languages? I want to say. I don't know, I feel like I've always known, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel like I've always known, like, okay, I love, well, especially people that speak Spanish. Cause like when I was yeah. little, I used to watch Dora. Oh. I, used to be like, <laughs> I used to be like, oh my gosh, this language is so pretty, I yes. wanna learn it. So that's kind of like where my love started for it. And then mm -hmm. just like, as I got older, I wanted to learn more about other cultures. So when you go to Costa Rica, what do you, what type of impact do you want to have on those people over there abroad? Well, I'm Christian, so um, I definitely just want to like show the light of Christ, you know, I want that Ooh. to be, <laughs> oh, yes. I really want that to like come through that like I'm a believer and I want like something I say or do to like, you know, help get someone else closer to Christ. I definitely want to, um, I don't know, just show them that they have the skills to learn another language. Like it yeah. does seem like it's really hard to to learn another language and it seems like it doesn't have to be yeah you know? it doesn't have to be yeah hard to learn and it gets language. discouraging sometimes because it's like uh i feel like i'm stuck at this level like yeah you know i just wish i was here i wish i could express complex thoughts in this mm -hmm. other language but that's not the case all the time and like i just want to help people be able to to break out of that rut and to like feel confident yeah in the skills that they